What's up guys? Today's lesson, I know so many of you are excited. It is Let It Go by James Bay. Now before we jump in, this morning I posted a photo on my Instagram asking you guys what song you thought I was gonna be teaching today. And whoever guessed it first gets a shout out in today's video. So our Instagram winner is, it's Sherry Ann, or is it Cherry Ann? So congratulations, and I also posted this photo on my Twitter and on my Facebook, where we also have two other winners. Now they didn't guess it first, but they still were the first person to guess it on those two platforms. So our Twitter winner is it's Adavilla23, and our Facebook winner is JM Sobre Villa. So congratulations to our three winners. You all get high fives, boom, 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 boom. Now you guys are gonna help me figure out what song I'm gonna teach you guys next. I'm gonna give you guys two song choices to vote between, and you have 20. 24 hours from right now when this video is launched to vote for the next lesson. So to do this fair and square, we are gonna be using an app called Swell. And if you've never heard of Swell, the app looks like this with a cute little whale on it. Basically, Swell is an app where people can ask questions and give opinions. So like me, for example, I wanna know what song I should teach you guys next. Because literally every single day, I get so many song requests. And sometimes I just have a hard time deciding like what song should be the next lesson. So you guys are going to vote. So if you guys wanna know what the song choices are and be able to vote, click the link in the description box and enter my invite code into Swell. And once you are in, you will be able to follow my account and you will be able to vote. All right guys, Whew. we are going to go ahead and get into the lesson here. This is going to be an easier version of how to play this song. This is a more convenient version, meaning you're not going to have to tune your guitar into a completely different tuning. Call me lazy for not wanting to retune my guitar, but I really don't want to do that. For those of you that are like me and you don't want to change the tuning of your guitar, don't worry guys, there's no shame in that. Because we can still figure out how to play it in standard tuning, and guess what guys? There are easier chords in this lesson. So if you're looking for a complex, exact replication of the song, I'm really sorry, but this tutorial is not for you. But I know there are so many other awesome guitar teachers here on YouTube that probably have that tutorial for you. But this one, guys, is geared towards beginners. All right, guys, like I said, we are in standard tuning. We have our capo on the sixth fret. Now we're just gonna go ahead and jump into chords. So starting off, we're going to have a G major. Our next chord is going to be a C major. Then we're going to have an E minor 7, a D major, an E minor. Now this next chord might be one that you've never heard of or never played before. It's called an E minor over C sharp and it looks like this and it sounds like this. It's actually really pretty sounding, isn't it? And our last chord is an A minor. So those are our chords here. Now what I'm going to do is take the song section by section and just go over the strumming patterns as I kind of go through the sections here. So we're going to go ahead and start out with the intro verse. So the progression here is going to go from G major to C major to E minor 7 to D. So I have the lyrics in front of me here because I know I'm just going to probably forget them. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and play the progression for the intro slash verse. It goes like this. So G major, C major, E minor 7, D. So, walking home. Okay, so that's how it goes. You get the idea. Alright, so you probably noticed that we have two different strumming patterns here. We have the down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So that's for the first two chords. So down, 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 up. Now the second pattern set is just a little bit more involved. It goes like this. So a little bit slower. It sounds like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Alright, now moving on the pre-chorus here, our progression completely changes from E minor to a D major to an E minor over C sharp to a C major. So it's going to sound like this. Now we're slipping at the edge, holding something we don't need. Oh, this illusion in our head is going to bring us to our knees. So for this section, the strumming is really easy. We've actually already went over the pattern. It's the 
down, 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 up pattern. So we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the chorus. So our progression is going to completely unravel and change on us again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through and then we'll work on the strumming. Come on, let it go. that it goes into that basically mimics the intro so it goes I'll be me and then it goes around one more time and then it shoots into the second verse alright so now we're just gonna go over the strumming that we had in the chorus alright so starting with the C major it goes down down up down up down down up down up down up down down up down up down down up down now moving on to the bridge, you guessed it, completely new chord progression. So we're just gonna go ahead and start. Trying to fit your hand inside of mine, but we know it just don't belong. There's no fuss on earth could make you feel right. No. Trying to push this problem up the hill when it's just too heavy to hold. Think now the time to for the bridge here. I am using the pattern down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. So I'll just use the A minor for example. And then when we hit that final chorus there, we are going to take it really easy and mellow and just have single down strums. So we just have the just let it go. So that is how you play Let It Go by James Bay. If you enjoyed this tutorial and if it helped you out, please help a girl out. Give me a thumbs up. If you are new to my videos and you would like to see more tutorials like this, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you haven't voted for the next song yet, click the link in the description box so I can figure out what the heck I'm going to teach you guys next. But that's pretty much it. So I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I shall see you in my next video. Peace out.